welcome to my channel i'm your favorite director sita here today again with a new pick up i reading and you already know today's topic is going to be when will you meet your future spouse the timeline and also we're going to be knowing the situations you will face or you will be in just before meeting your future spouse so that you just know that this is the time for you to meet the love of your life because sometimes my darling it's a general reading many people are watching my video so maybe the timeline may not resonate with you but the situation will definitely resonate with you my darling because something that you will be in something that you will be going through just before meeting your person that will be very much specific for everyone my babies okay so if you're new to my channel of Nida, what is going on let me tell you I am an intuitive tarotor. I use my intuition and magical power to channel messages from angels and universe to guide you guys. This is purely intuitive based reading, my darling. So trust your intuition and trust your gut feelings in order to choose the perfect group for yourself. Okay? So this may be the full panel number one. The root girl. The disowned self. Card number 46. Okay, let me focus it, my darling. Look at that. This is my beautiful part number one. Card number 46, root girl, the disowned self. My beautiful group number two is watchers, transpersonal, card number 60. Beautiful card. This is my beautiful part number two. And my part number three is card number 27, heart home, compassion. Mm, this is my part number three. Okay. So I'm going to give you the beautiful closure look where you can pause the video and choose the perfect group whatever you are drawn to and if you're drawn to more than one group feel free to choose those group my darling maybe you got some extra messages as well so let's go. My darling, you choose the perfect group for yourself. I'll give the timestamps in the description box. Go there, click on the timestamps, and the video will give you the exact timing when your pine is going to be started. So let's go jump into your reading. Hello, my beautiful group number one. Welcome, welcome, welcome. So you choose this card that is the root girl, right, my darling? The disowned self, card number 46. It is a kind of self-healing card. Here I can sense you choose this card. That means you are someone. You have been feeling that nobody ever understood you. Nobody is there in this earth who can understand you, who can love you the way you wanted to be loved. You know, people just don't know how to treat you. And you are just finding the true love and you are not successful in that so no matter how much you try to change yourself no matter how much you try to be more flexible to everyone but nobody is there to hold your hands and nobody is really trying to understanding nobody's trying to understand that what you are who you are and how can anyone love you but how you want to be loved by the one that you will marry so there is some sort of child um like inner child healing is going on my group number one the root girl is all about you got that soft inner child. You got that softness into your soul that you are so soft, you are so sensitive, you are so much sentimental that it is very much impossible impossible for you to find the perfect, balanced future spouse for yourself. If you are someone watching my video, you have tried so much hard in the past to find the true love, the true one. Okay, you try to change yourself, you try to compromise with your needs and desires. But my darling, something was not right. Like you were feeling that nobody is really understanding that what you want or who you are or what type of lover you need. I mean, you are someone, my group number one, you want a partner who can love you as the way you are. Maybe something about your body, about your emotions, your spirituality, your thoughts. It's not like others. You are the odd one. You stand out, my group number one, okay? Wherever you go, your choices, your likes, your dislikes, your um, the way you live your life, your daily life is completely different from others, okay? It feels like it is very much impossible for you. It's very difficult for you to find the perfect match for yourself because you want something that is very much rare. 
okay so the root girl is here the all over energy my darling you will meet your future spouse at the point of time when you are just embracing yourself exactly the way you are and you are not trying to pretend to be someone else to impress anyone so you are exactly the best version of yourself you are really showing your true color to the world and you really don't care that what other people are going to be saying to you what other people are going to say what their criticism what is their what's their thought you're really not caring about anybody else anymore there is a sense of that's it i'm into myself i'm not going to change myself for anybody because i love myself i am very much down to earth and i am the best of myself when i am just me okay i'm not trying to pretend to be someone else so there is a sense of authenticity my group number 1 that you will be in at the point of time meeting your future spouse you you will be exactly doing the things that you love to do the way you want to dress yourself your eat you know your food that you want to eat your life that you want to um live you are exactly living the life of your dream not in a love relationship way but in a normal natural way my group number one i can feel and like mentally emotionally physically you'll be very stable you don't need anybody you're just independent you're just loving yourself as the way you are you're just loving god that thank you so much god for making me this way because i'm loving it you are just you know feeling lots of gratitude to the angels to the universe that thank you so much angels for making me this way there is a self acceptance you know self happiness self approval that is going on my group number 1 you are just grounding your energy and you are very much confident in your own own look own body own skin you are very much comfortable you are very much comfortable to show your body i don't know my darling maybe you are fatty you are skinny maybe you are dark or something about you that people try to give a put some inferiority complex in your mindset but my darling at the point of time you'll meet your future spouse you will be embracing your own body own style own unique body unique style because nobody's like you you got your unique eyes your unique nose your body shape and everything is so much unique you're just loving the way you are so lots of self acceptance self allowing you're just allowing yourself to be you exactly you okay you you're not changing your personality you're not changing your dressing style you're not changing your um authenticity to impress anyone you are just you're just yourself okay there is no no restrictions there is no restriction there is nothing that can stop you from being actually who you are So let's go find out my darling that when will you meet your future spouse the situations or your position something like your position your situation okay so let's go take beautiful five cards So one more please here yes so i got the mirror king of vessels king of stones eight of stones and seven of stones so here number 12 means hanged man that is the mirror energy here i can sense my group number 1 the time is coming the time when will you meet your future spouse you will be loving your own body you will love to wait for the person you are the hopeless romantic my group number 1 okay you just know that there is someone like you will be meeting someone you got that faith you got that belief that i will meet someone who will love me exactly the way i want to be loved so the mirror energy here i can feel that you are loving your face when you're looking at the mirror you're just embracing your true color okay you're just seeing yourself that oh my god i'm so beautiful i'm so i'm so good looking i'm so successful here i can see you are waiting for the perfect person and at the at the point of time when you're waiting you are transforming you are having the best glamour okay you are just you know making yourself more beautiful there is huge i uh, know glow up going on you're just loving your body you're just loving your uniqueness and you just love that waiting period my group number 1 believe it or not 
you you will meet your future spouse when you are just enjoying that waiting period you are just enjoying that yes universe already gave me some time so that i can make myself more beautiful more worthy enough for the amazing person here the knight of vessel that is the ill energy here i can sense a person who is entering in your life they're very charming very loving they are going to propose you they are going to pursue you but at that point of time your energy will be very playful believe it or not my darling you will embrace that playful flirtatious energy that you already got in yourself you will really be that player or you are going to be someone my darling when you are just loving to have that playful vibe okay you are that playful vibe you are really playful you know flirting with other people enjoying because knight of vessel that is knight of cups you are just so much attractive sensitive sensual okay you're just enjoying your that kind of vibe okay it's like you are romantic you are flirtatious you are charming like romantic macho type and you're just loving your body you're just going with the flow you just know that yes i'm the one everyone wants me because i know myself better okay i just know what who is good for me and who is not good for me so you are just you're just loving yourself my darling it's like self love journey here going on with also here the king of stones the wolf energy my darling you will be tapping into your deep spiritual wisdom believe it or not the king of stones is all about king of pentacles here i can see maturity money abundance feeling like you are rich you are becoming the sugar daddy or sugar mommy you are becoming that amazing person who can provide for the family because king of pentacles is all about the vibe of you can be the master you can be the mistress or you can be the the perfect powerful man male or man female of the house it's just you are becoming the perfect captain of the house okay because the king of stones the wolf energy here i can feel at the point of time you will meet your future spouse when you see yourself as the most dominant powerful exciting person okay who is ready to provide love money affection time to your person to your family because wolf is a very family oriented animal wolf always have that pack okay they got that family babies and baby wolf everything is there so wolf here with the king of stones i can feel you are just tapping into your deep spiritual wisdom you are becoming intuitive you are just doing some sort of powerful spiritual practices you are becoming more devoted to the angels there is lots of family oriented responsibility that you will love to take and there is a sense of protectiveness that is really coming into your mind like you are you can become someone that who uh make other people feel protected so you are just becoming that amazing because this is the you know the middle of the spread there is the king of stones the wolf card is here so you feel that you got money you got all the things that you need so you are ready for that amazing family it's a sense of maturity it's a sense of love it's a sense of hubby or wifey material you will feel that you are that hubby or wifey material that yes i can become the in charge of the family i can become the best decision maker of the family there's a sense of maturity that you will be in and also you will have your own money i can see you will own money beautiful house beautiful car it's a stability okay you don't need anything money from your person you are already rich my group number 1 so if you are not right now in this kind of position maybe this is not the right time for you to meet this person because i can feel at the point of time you are meeting your person you are rich you will call yourself rich okay so it it depends on your situation that i uh, know how much money is too much for you okay <laughs> so the eight of stones here skill my darling you are very skillful you are talented you got a talent and you are just polishing that talent you are working on that talent you are just making yourself more sharp more skillful in that talent so eight of 
pentacle is all about eight of stones right of pentacle is also all about you are just working hard on yourself making yourself more beautiful more pretty uh working on yourself that i can feel and you have a hidden talent you have this hidden talent and you're just trying to you know polish that talent and making creative ideas creative innovative things out of that talent so it's like finding your own talent you're just you know lighting up your own dark side where you can see that how much powerful how much valuable and worthy you are you're just trying to find out your own worth own value okay because i can feel the eight of stones the skill is all about it's your hidden talent it's you know it's your innate talent you already got that talent into yourself so you're just trying to find out your own talent and working on that thing and you're just you know having very much fun that you are doing all the things about yourself you're focusing the light onto yourself and the mirror you are just looking at the mirror and praising yourself again and again that oh my god i'm looking so beautiful oh my god the person is so lucky who is going to marry me so there is a very good self confidence throughout that waiting period there is i can sense you're just loving and you're just enjoying and growing in this waiting period uh, with the seven of stones that is healing my darling i can feel the seven of pentacles it's all about patience feeling like you are patient enough to heal yourself heal your wound heal your past traumas heal the wound that you already got from past people past friends past family members or past incidents that happened to you already it's a sense of you are doing self healing you don't need anybody or anything to heal yourself you just need your own confirmation own openness you're just forgiving those people who hurt you in the past it's like you're coming out from your own negative mindset you're just opening something new something big okay because seven of stones it's it's healing like you invested lots of time to heal yourself and it's working lots of shadow work you will be doing before meeting your person that's completely 100% sure my darling so seven of stones healing vibe my darling you will be enjoying that you have invested so much time on yourself and you can see that as a consequence of your glow on the face and you are just you know feeling so good so lucky so beautiful every day okay like every day you find out something new about yourself so yeah at that point of time you'll meet your person like you are really becoming that confident boss believe it or not you are your own life boss you are your own boss you you are under your own control nobody is controlling your life anymore because the wolf wolf is very fierceful wolf is always like in control of their emotions no matter what there is nobody can control the wolf so here i can feel my group number 1 you meet your future spouse at the point of time when you are just controlling your own body own mind own self and you really don't care what other people are saying about you or trying to find out about you you're just loving your own self loving your own body and you're just enjoying the thing that you're doing so you're just finding out that you got a hidden talent and you're working on that your career your business money that is that is all yours okay because my darling king of stones in the middle of the spread that it's really confirming me that you will be in a very high post high status when it comes to financial stages okay like financially mentally physically materially you will be in a very high post at the time when you are meeting your person and your self confidence will be in another level okay your self confidence about your beauty about your position about your financial status about your family home car oh my god like you feel that you are already fulfilled you got everything that a person needs now you you just need a partner and you are very much love to wait for that person because the mirror is here you just love to wait for that person and every day it's kind of exciting for you so here i can feel the planetary cycles okay so you might meet your future spouse at the point of time when you are going to jupiter saturn or the mercury transition over your seventh lord so try to find out who is your seventh lord is my darling 
and then you will see that you will meet your future spouse when you are going through this kind of planetary transition and also i can feel there is a sense of planet jupiter that is going to play a very strong role to meet your future spouse maybe that day will be thursday or the season will be pisces or sagittarius season pisces season means march that kind of time and the sagittarius seasons okay that october kind of season right no november december yeah november december kind of season okay so wow also i can feel my darling maybe um you will meet your future spouse at the point of time when you are completing one vimshata ritasha and opening a new one or you're already in a new one and you're just completing that a kind of specific cycle of your life okay and you're just feeling like a beautiful transition that is happening in my life nothing is like the old days anymore your your everyday life is changing daily life is changing your thought process is changing the way you look at the world that is changing you're becoming you're, you're more blooming okay there is a sense of transition and transformation in your personality that you will feel it it's not that you're not feeling it into yourself but other people are feeling it it's like you can feel it that you have changed a lot okay maybe you really don't react to some certain situation that you used to react in past days so there is some certain personality change in yourself that you will find out my group number one then you got intuition i just told you my darling you got that intuition card and here i can see the king of stones and wolf and it's intuition my darling so at the point of time you'll meet your future spouse when you will find out that your intuitions are becoming crazy powerful you can just feel what is right for you you just you just know what the other one is going to tell you know going to say to you or what just exactly going to happen to you you just know you know you and your higher self the connection will be very strong you are becoming more intuitive more psychic you are tapping into your third eye chakra you are very much you know feeling like you are very much empathetic you can pick up the energy surrounding you surrounds you you can you can just feel the energy in people especially negative energy okay like maybe you're just you know going to a place or talking to some people and suddenly you feel like oh my god there is like no no headache or neck ache oh my god i'm not feeling so well i feel so drained you can feel negative energy so strong wherever you go you are becoming very much empathetic your energy is becoming very much soothing and very much receptive you feel my group number one that at the point of time you're meeting your person you feel like you and universe are really merging into oneself you can feel that you just know what's going to happen next there is a sense of inner knowing in every aspect of your life intention my darling you will have that strong intention towards the god and universe that you want to meet your future spouse my darling let me tell you one thing you are very powerful like you are powerful more than you think you are so my darling at the point of time you're really telling your angels your universe that hey i'm ready to meet my person please give me my future spouse and you are just you know commanding angels to do that for you that will happen that will happen my darling because i can feel the intention is here that means you are putting that intention that you want to meet your future spouse you're just putting the intention that i just want to meet my person i just want to you know have that amazing and beautiful relationship with that person i just want to meet my future spouse then angels will have that feeling and in universe will give you that thing so drawing this intention card means sandal phone that is the angel archangel is asking you to make a list of your many expectations as these are the seeds of your intentions thought creates reality and so by revealing this card you are being asked to truly specify what you intend and to place a purpose to that intention from clearly defined purpose your experience is what 
the angels want you to experience love joy and success therefore visual visualization or the visualize yourself and your intimates in gratitude joyously experiencing the outcome of your intention this is the kernel form which abundance grow my darling okay i can feel my group number one that angels are asking you that if you want a beautiful person then tell universe that give me the person that's it one time my group number one do this you know every day or every morning or maybe just once in a day that go to the universe like <laughs> the god or whatever you believe in and just ask that angels universe please give me the person that meant for me the destined future spouse that destined soulmate give me that so i can feel my darling your intention are so powerful that wherever you put your intention things will come to your way very soon sometimes my darling you know what you are having more than two or three wishes and whenever you are you know kind of having mixed wishes and mixed expectations from angels and universe universe always get confused and give you all the things at once so that really you know become a bit late for you right my darling so just put the intention that first you just want your future spouse and then you will have all the thing but and when you are really putting that intention that i want my future spouse then you will find out that universe is exactly giving you all the situation that you will need to meet your person okay like giving you all the money that you need you know helping you to you know do some polishing of your talent or skills okay do some self healing going through some you know physical transformation yeah yes love my darling love is here with the faith yes yes my darling so my darling the love that you always wanted the love of your future spouse like when will you meet your future spouse my darling have faith on an angels have faith on your the, the the divine timing have faith on the universe because the love is in your faith the love is coming in your way because keep the faith my darling keep believing that everything is working on your own way everything is working on your favor because love is here my darling the love of god the love of divine the love of jesus the love of universe lord krishna loves you so much allah loves you my darling so there is a sense of faith that you should trust the divine timing trust your destiny my group number 1 that everything is working on your favor everything is perfect all is well you are guided to this person you don't have to worry about that if everything is working on your way or not if you're asking too much that is everything is okay or not is everything perfect or not then let me tell you my darling everything is perfect everything is coming on your way you're going to meet your person exactly when the timing is right and there is a sense of faith intuition and you are just completing one of your cycle that is the main sign my darling and you are becoming rich successful and intuitive so spiritual growth will be very strong okay okay discernment my darling let me tell you one thing you will meet your future spouse at the point of time you just know who loves you and who don't loves you okay who doesn't love you and who love you uh you will have the feeling that you just know who the player is and who is the committed one you just know that amazing differences in people you just know that yes this is the one who loves me this is the one who doesn't love me yeah there is a sense of like choosing the perfect one or you have the power to choose the perfect people for yourself maybe just for friends you just know that who is good for you and who is not good for you there is a sense of discernment that you will be have in your mind because you're becoming intuitive remember my darling so through intuition you are able to know that who loves you and who doesn't love you or who is good for you and who is not yeah liberty is here that is a sense of freedom freedom of thinking freedom of you know getting rid of all the things that is not serving you anymore self imposed restrictions are going away you are feeling like you are just divinely guided your thoughts your mind whatever you have wanted whatever you know the way you wanted to live the life everything is there it's like you are really you know not caged anymore you you are just like this bird you're just coming out of that cage and having that free life okay nobody can able to 
weighing you down because you are not about to be caged anymore you are about to fly in this beautiful sky my darling it's a sense of independence freedom or if you if you feel that someone always try to control you people always try to you know weighing you down or cut your wings this is not going to happen this time you feel like you're free and you're going to choose this person very freely you will meet this person when you feel like you are very free in your life and you are not controlled by anything nobody can control you anymore and you got when i'm patient i let the universe do for me what i cannot do for myself it's your formation my darling so when i'm patient i let the universe do for me what i cannot do for myself definitely my book number one now the way your person will be coming into your life it's something that only universe can do for you you cannot do that to yourself so you need to be patient you need to have the complete faith on angels and universe that universe is working on your way working on your favor and you are about to meet your person very soon it's all universal plan it's all fated it's all destined angels are working very hard behind the veil so that you can get your dream marriage dream success so that's all i got for you my beautiful group number one i hope you enjoyed my reading give it a thumbs up also my darling subscribe to my channel and hit that bell icon so that you can you get notified by youtube and upload new videos till then stay blessed and happy i love you my darling so much hello my beautiful group number two welcome 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 so you choose these watchers that is transpersonal card for yourself card number six so this is a card my darling the watcher what is the watcher watcher means observer witnessing something so it is time for you to stop doing things hurriedly or impatiently my group number two if you're really looking out for your future spouse everywhere stop doing that okay maybe sometimes my group number two without even knowing unawarely you do chase your person okay my group number two like sometimes you just go to the internet and searching their facebook like if you have any specific person in your mind you're just going there and searching their social media account and going there and you know, looking at their page profile and if they're in a relationship or not like anything like searching them stalking them stop doing that if you're doing it stop doing that stop doing that my darling okay because when will you meet your future spouse at the point of time you'll meet your future spouse when you stop putting lots of effort in searching of your person yes it is what it is my darling because here i can feel that when watchers appears it is an invitation to stop doing pause get off the treadmill and take a deep breath find the witness within the one who can observe the fire and furry and fury happening around you but is not caught in any of the drama the time is right to step back if you have a thought of or opinion keep it to yourself if you have a feeling that needs to be expressed do it in the shower do not engage with the action happening around you simply observe so right now the best thing my group number two that angels are telling you to do that stop making a first move stop making that initiation every time stop taking initiatives in everything may my darling my group number two you're someone you always take you always take all the initiatives okay you just go and talk to someone for, for the first time if you feel someone not talk to maybe you're texting them or texting someone or if you feel like that oh my god if i just sit there and wait for my person Maybe my person will never come. So I need to do that thing and do this thing and open the account and do this. Thing. My darling, stop it. Stop it. You are wasting your time. You are making yourself more confused. You are just, you are just making delay in your own luck. The watcher that is transpersonal, my group number two. Right now, just stay back. Hope for the best. Have faith on universe. Because the way you're going to be meeting your person, it's not the way that you are making that way. You are not making the way, you are not making the path, the, you know, in that path your person will never come. Your person will come in a path that is made by angels, that is made by destiny. So, my darling, if you're really putting extra effort to impress someone or to do something that is not basically your thing, stop doing it okay hi number two okay stop overthinking sometimes you're overthinker sometimes you do think crazy stuff so like sometimes you feel like oh my god maybe i should open that dating app oh my god i should go that place i should go this place okay maybe I, if i go that place maybe i'll meet my person okay so in other tarot reading i know that 
maybe I'll meet them while traveling or going to the temple, going to the... Okay, so let's go visit that place. My darling, okay, this is not the way that you'll meet your person. Maybe you're going to be meeting exactly your person in that place, but not the way you wanted them to meet you. Okay, so stop putting that artificial uh, creation into your daily life okay stop doing that so so let's go find out my darling that when will you meet your future spouse the time zone your situation okay what will be your situation at the point of time what will be your feelings at the point of time let's go find out my darling speak guides my guardian angel i control my household child messages to me for my beautiful book number two and let's go find out that when will my beautiful part number two meet their future spouse or what will be your situation okay so let's go find out first five cards okay so here i got the page of bows that is the page of wand the six of wand the six of sword the high priestess that is the seer and the ten of vessels that is the ten of cups so my darling I can feel here the middle of this spade is the six of arrows that is the six of sword that is transition so you will meet your future spouse at the point of time when you're going through a life changing situation your life your thoughts your perspectives your everyday daily life your place is really changing maybe you're traveling yes yes if you're traveling you're going somewhere you're into adventure into journey into happiness and also in that journey there is some transition going on okay it's like changing your whole life it's like it's like a life-changing journey okay metaphorically my darling it may not be real traveling it's maybe it's your internal traveling it's like six of arrows is all about you are becoming more open-minded. You are just changing the option uh, of your choices. Maybe you used to like some sort of specific person. Now you are changing your style. And then you are attracting a new type of people or characteristics. Okay. And also there is a sense of success, abundance, six of balls. That is all about abundance. Feeling like you are successful. You are famous in your career, in your study, in your like money okay financial status you feel like you are famous you got everything that you wanted you're using branded clothes branded you know material objects material things it feels like you are having that successful time in your entire life you're just very successful okay because i can see the abundance card and the six of one is like if you are into the internet world if you're into um like social media my group number two you're really engaging with lots of subscribers followers you're just having a best time in your entire life when it comes to online internet or in your business in your career people are supporting you your family everyone is supporting you so you're just having a very successful life with yourself with the page of balls that is the stored card here i can feel my darling my group number two you're just tapping into your childlike behavior with your excitement, curiosity. And you just feel like you are healing your inner child and you will look more childish. Believe it or not, my darling, at the point of time when you, when you, when will, when you will meet your future spouse, you will look a lot younger than your age. Like maybe your age is something, but you look five or six years younger than that. Yes, my darling. Because your mindset is really becoming more childish, more connected to the inner child, more curious, most like, you know, wondrous kind of mindset where you are feeling very much like a new learner. You're just having that magical awe in your face where you're just, you know, seeing many things in a wonderful eyes. Yes, my darling, there is a sense of childlike activities or childish energy that you are really tapping into. At the point of time meeting your person so you you feel like that you are enjoying your childlike behavior you're just getting lots of love from your parents from your sibling or from your guardian that right now you got it feels like you're just tapping into your own inner child and then these two cards here 
will meet you a person when you are like becoming the witch the intuitive queen like intuitive king you're into your spiritual journey because he's the high priestess you are very much into some secret knowledge secret society where you just doing something that other people really don't know how to do that thing maybe you are a terror you're a witch you are maybe a hacker an ethical hacker you're into occult world secretive world astrology or connecting to the different dimensions different realms you're just doing some research work because high priest is all about doing something research or tapping into the unknown to the darkness okay so you're just you know if you are if you are someone my darling that you want to go for higher studies and you're doing the higher studies um okay your job may be something like healing or tapping into the unknown stuff okay like explorer kind of a vibe here i can feel the sea or like where you can see all the things very clearly that's why i told you that some hacker vibe is here so my group number two you will meet your future spouse at the point of time when you are very much into your occult world your spiritual mystic world where you just have your own specific secret identity and you don't want to mix up with anybody else you're just trying to put a healthy boundary you are into the introvert world okay so my group number two i don't care that if you're introvert right now or not but bef but like just before meeting your future spouse you will be into your introvert kind of vibe okay you will be behaving like an introvert like not going to the crowd crowded places avoiding the crowded places and staying into your own shell staying into your own house own room it's kind of very much protected being here are the ten of visuals that vessels that is happiness so my group number two you'll meet your person when you are super duper happy 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 when there's nothing called sadness okay you have overcome everything that has created some problem in your life you moved on you are powerful, you are happy, you are loving, you are loving, you are adorable, you are enjoying your life. You know, very happy, happy, happy time because Ten of Vessels is all about happiness, harmony, family time, enjoying family, okay, enjoying time with family. You just, you are just having lots of fun in your family, in your life. There is nothing that you are feeling guilty about, you are not holding into any grudges. And here in the middle of the spread, you got the six of arrows that is transition. So definitely will meet your future spouse when you're going through transitions. Maybe some huge glow up happening. Maybe you're just changing your physical look. You're just changing your attire, your dresses, uh, your hairstyle, your personality. Uh, you're just, you know, changing your choices, your preferences when it comes to date a girl or a boy. You're just changing your likes and dislikes, okay? So lots of change here is happening. Oh, and this is made metaphorically, and if it is real, then there is some traveling involved here. But traveling, maybe physically traveling or mentally, spiritually traveling. But the transition is here. Like you are not as same as before. There is something newness in you. And your lifestyle is something that is something new, okay? It's, it's not like old days. So the people who already knew you, that those people can't get a bit of shock after seeing you my darling because you are not exactly the same version of yourself where you used to be someone like very cute very sweet loving but right now you are like more of a popular and very confident and very introvert okay you will talk less at that point of time before meeting your person and you're looking very much like a childlike childlike five is here so when you can possibly meet your person so the situation or something that angels want you to know patience well i can tell michael is already telling you that patience is here i can see egyptian vibe is here so definitely whenever i see egyptian vibes i can really tap into that you know intuition witchcraft magic or manifestation spell work my group number two here i can feel i can tell michael is telling you that keep patience because the more you are patient, the more things will work for you more easily, okay? Because I told you, my darling, the watcher card is here. So if you feel like you need to do this thing or that thing to meet your person, don't do that, okay? Because those things are useless. So have patience, my darling. Because patience can really give you the perfect result more sooner, okay? Sooner than you expect. Then Zafkiel is giving you ecstasy. That is spiritual ecstasy. 
connecting with your divine being you are feeling more connected with the angels and you know god universe you just feel like you can you can sense the spiritual love your spiritual ecstasy spiritual um development you feel like oh my god yes i can get whatever i want so definitely angels got the best plan for me when it comes to my wedding and marriage so you'll be very much happy that how angels and universe are really taking all the responsibility when it comes to your love and relationship so here is Zafkel ecstasy that means here you just feel like angels are there giving you all the love that you deserve and giving you all the thing that that one can that one can want from a person so Zafkel wishes you to know that divine ecstasy may come in any moment as a deep feelings of passion for your spiritual growth or as an aspect of your love whereby your whole being is transfixed with the choice you have made to join the mystical pathway the two get keepers on this path are awe and joy both of which are closely aligned to ecstasy as you experience this heightened state be aware of that wish of that wish purse of the angels as you see in the oracle angels use this high frequency opportunity to impart sacred loving information to us about our journey they give our higher self information about a choice we need to make or how to open like vistas of consciousness about our ethical existence trust the angels for they will always have your heartfelt interest in their hearts and i can feel my group number two that angels love you angels wants to give you lots of love spiritual love protection so that you can sense that before loving your future spouse to love your angels and love your god who give you the beautiful opportunity to have this amazing lifestyle with your person okay metatron is giving you wisdom and here i can again see the pyramid here okay so it's kofu's pyramid okay so here i can feel the wisdom and the patience my group number two before meeting your future spouse definitely you are becoming a wise person a wise girl or a wise boy and definitely the diamond you are really going to be using a lot you're just becoming the diamond you're just becoming more wise spiritually you're wise spiritually you're more having more growth day by day you're just a wise person. You are an old soul, my group number two. You find out more about yourself before meeting your person. You're just tapping into the in the highest form of spirituality. Maybe you are a spellcaster watching my video, or you you love to do some witchcraft for yourself, or maybe you will be doing this kind of stuff in the in the future. Okay, Haniel is giving you integrity, definitely, my darling. There is balance. There is lots of time for you to understand that what is good for you and what is not good for you it's a sense of maturity it's a sense of you know judging the things as the way they are also divine intelligence my darling divine intelligence with the wisdom i can feel my group number two definitely you are a witch psychic a tarot reader, a very strong intuitive power you got my group number two maybe you are my soul tribe definitely you are my soul tribe so divine intelligence here that i can sense you are really tapping into the the secret of law of attraction you are really tapping into the timeline where you will feel oh my god i can see the honeybee there okay it's, it's, it's really flying there so honeybee is a very good omen my darling okay here I can sense luck, lady luck, fortune, good fortune is entering in your life. So before meeting your future spouse, my group number two, I can feel there is a sense of divine intelligence. You're really downloading lots of data from angels and universe where you are built to find out who is good and who is bad for you. I don't know, my darling, you're disconnecting with your ancestors. And if you believe you in your ancestors, my darling, let me tell you, your ancestors are really helping you so that you can find your true partner. So that you can just find the true partner that you truly deserve. Very good news are coming in your way, my group number two, very soon. Wow. Wow. 
good fortune, good 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 decisions, good knowledge. Everything is really entering my group number two. Like you are divinely guided and you can listen to angels and, or you will be listening to gut feelings more than usual. So you got go with the flow. Yes, my group number two. That's the main uh, guidance for you that when will you meet your future spouse, you should be go with the flow. You should go with the flow. You should be someone who believe in the flow. So don't try to control anything. Don't try to make any kind of situation that is fake, that is not real. Because I can tell you that go with the flow. That is the best thing you can do right now. So wow, when will you meet your future spouse? Just enjoy the ride, my darling. Enjoy the ride that beautiful angel gives us, give you. Gives us, okay. It's like believe in the divine plan, believe in the God's plan, something beautiful, things that will happen. And keep patience and go and go with the flow. Because you know, trust the flow, my darling, because something whenever you're in the flow, you will find out that yes things will really become very easy for you to uh, manifest yes touch the sky here i can feel my darling the story of tangled <laughs> the story of rapunzel and eugene if you have seen the story of rapunzel and eugene you will know my darling that in the, in the tangled you know she was completely alone with only you know that witch that kind of bad evil person um, the person who really kidnapped her in the baby time and disguised as her mother. And the meeting that really happened between Rapunzel and Eugene, that, that was kind of divinely guided, okay? That is divinely guided. It is like meant for each other. If you have seen the story of, you know, Tangled, then you understand. And if you haven't seen this, so go ahead and see that Tangled, Okay. And you will understand, my darling, that how divine the meeting is. Like when you are about to meet this person, it feels like fate. It feels like destiny. It feels like, yes, universe and angels are really giving you this amazing partner. Because touch the sky. It feels like you are just waiting for someone to come to you through that bread that you really, you know, that bread is really falling down in the earth and you are exactly above the clouds and you're waiting and you're waiting for someone to climb to your bread but my darling let me tell you one thing your wedding will be over very soon so go with the flow believe in the divine wisdom because you will be attracting the perfect person who really deserve you and who you completely deserve i can sense my darling you meet your person at the point of time when you're very happy when you are really smiling, when you are really not expecting anyone to climb your bread, it's like you're just doing it just aimlessly. And suddenly, my darling, it's happening for you. So what's the affirmation for you? As soon as I choose to see the light in the dark corners, I redirect my power towards what I want. Yes, my darling. So as soon as you choose to see the light in any place, so the darkness are really transmuting into the light, and your power toward what you want that is really becoming more powerful so my group number two don't just you know think again and again that you got you got nothing you have met this person and why is this person okay don't give the vibe that you are alone don't give the vibe to the universe that you need someone because you are alone no because my darling universe just you know make your things double okay because universe is nothing but your own ego. So whatever you tell universe, universe is going to give you more of it. So if you really tell universe that, universe, I'm very happy. And I am attracting the people who will love me, who is going to be my future spouse. I'm just, I'm just attracting that person and I know you will be, give, you, you will be giving the, this person to me perfectly. Do this kind of affirmation, my darling. Okay, don't ask that why I'm single. Oh my God, I miss someone. I am alone. Okay, don't just affirm this kind of thing into yourself, my darling. Okay, it's a bad affirmation that is kind of making delay in your manifestation. Okay, my group number two. So you'll definitely meet your person when you're in, a, in your spiritual journey, when you're very happy, uh, when you're very excited, going with the flow. In, you are in your very happy 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 time okay you're not you're not heartbroken anymore you're very happy you have moved on you have healed yourself completely and 
you are literally not having any expectation from this person and you will meet your future spouse at that point of time when you are just tapping into your highest form of spirituality and you just have the good intention to have this amazing life with them but not having any kind of expectation from them because you got everything that one can need so that's all i got for you my beautiful group number two i hope you enjoy my reading give it a thumbs up also my darling subscribe to my channel and hit that bell icon so that you're gonna be fed by youtube and upload new videos till then stable and happy i love you my darling so much hello my beautiful group number three welcome 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 so you choose the heart home compassion card number 27 so it's the beautiful energy that right now you are in my darling or you will be in the, at the point of time of meeting your person so the heart home is all about compassion love in its truest form so when you begin to feel like you do not belong anywhere it's time to make your way back to your heart home this is your true home you are being called back to the quiet place where your soul resides put everything on hold for a short while you are being offered the experience of love in the purest form unconditional and unbounded this is not love you must work hard to earn for better or for or better for oh my god yes drop into your heart space and rest there for a breath or two replace the judgment of yourself and others with compassion really it is that easy when the heart home shows up there is no need to forgive anyone for anything none of it's occurred in spiritual truth it is only your belief in that story that makes it so powerful allow your love to wash clean all those impressions empty yourself of all judgment and allow spirit to fill you with the sweet nectar of peace yes my group number three i can feel that at the point of time meeting your person you will be in the truest form of love and you will feel like you are not expecting anything from anyone but you are ready to give the love that you deserve from anybody else so it's like my group number three you are becoming exactly your dream lover you are becoming the lover that you have always wanted for yourself and that is the main way my group number three that you are really manifesting the love that you have always wanted because you are becoming that one and it's the easiest way my darling to attract the love that you've always wanted because my group number three we attract what we are so when you are really becoming the one that you always wanted it's very much easy for you to attract the love. And I can feel if you have any kind of guilty, any kind of bad feeling for anybody, then you are really letting go of that thing also. You are transforming. Lots of pink color that means self-loving. Lots of love, compassion, and not judging anybody. No judgmental, okay, or not judging anyone uh, through the past. Exactly, this is happening with you, my group number three. So you are, you will stop judging people by looking at them or by knowing their past because people are having different kind of situation in different places in different timeline. Okay, people can change any time, right, my darling? So. Let's go find out that when, when will you meet your future spouse, your situation at that point of time. So let's go my darling. So you got one, two, three, four, and five. So what you got? You got the queen of vessels. You got the page of bows. You got the forest lovers, the ancestor, and the green man. So, lots of major arcana is here. The green man is the emperor card. Ancestor is the hierophant card. The forest lovers is the lovers card. Page of bows means page of wands. And queen of vessels means the queen of cups. So, here I can see my group number three. That you will meet your future spouse in a... Okay, in a, in a beautiful place, in an official place in a way, okay? Here with the green man, that is all about the emperor vibe. When will you meet your person? At that point of time, my darling, you are really, really, really working very hard in your career, in your job, in your life. You are just having the best life and you feel like you don't have that typical emotional feeling for anybody else. You're becoming more, more logical and very much into scientific when it comes to love and everything it feels like you are not having that kind of 
hopeless romantic vibe for anybody or you really don't expect anyone to fulfill your loving wish it's just you have lots of expectation from yourself and you're just doing something that can make you feel happy that can make you feel excited you are not expecting anybody else to make you happy okay it's like you are the emperor you are just you know not too much cheesy or not too much romantic let me tell you you will meet your person at the point of time when you are focusing on something and that is making you quite scientific or logical rather than emotional okay because definitely i can see the queen of vessels so you are the nurturing one okay you, you just know how to nurture people or the most nurturing energy very intuitive romantic loving adorable at the same point of time my darling you got this two amazing duality into yourself so you are nurturing, you are loving, you are adorable, you are very giving, you are providing, you are intuitive, you are very soft. At the same point of time, you are also very logical, very strong, stubborn, strong and not flexible at all. Look at this kind of art. So you got these amazing two dual qualities. Maybe it's this loving energy. It's only for your home people, the people that you love, your friends and your family members. And this is for other people. With the ancestor card, you will, you will really becoming someone who believe in ancestral power. You are really doing something that your mom or dad used to do, or your grandmother used to do in your in your career, my darling. Maybe you're gonna be choosing the career that your that is in your family business, or maybe that your mother's mother, father, siblings, or your grandmother, grandfather, or maybe your ancestor used to do. You are just into that line. You are just into like you know. You are just continuing doing. You are just continuing on doing something that your ancestors used to do. With these forest lovers here, I can sense that you will meet this person in a very unusual way, in a very romantic way. Okay, the first meeting will be very romantic because it is in the middle of the spread. The, the forest lovers, the lovers card. It's gonna be your soulmate. It's a really this person vibe the same way that you vibe. You guys are really meeting in the mid uh, of in the, in the in the middle of something when you are doing something they are doing something and we both of you have the same work same interest maybe it's a workplace love it's a college love it's a school love or it's a love where you are you and your person are doing the same thing same interest and meeting this person there or maybe you are going somewhere your person is going that same place and you guys are meeting there like it's like you are doing something that you love to do and your person is doing the same thing because they love to do and you guys are really meeting with each other because you guys have the same interest or same choices same likes and dislikes or something very much similar between you two that is really leading you to that meeting i hope it i hope it makes sense my darling because you're the first lover that means you're just meeting exactly someone like you but in a different way and also, my darling, you're really becoming more childish, more energetic, more baby type. Because it's page of wands. That is the, you know, page of wands. That is the page of bows. That is very childlike, ex excitement, happy, baby type, you know, very much curiosity. You're just doing this thing and that thing, okay? You, you're really going to be meeting a person when you feel like no one can control this childlike behavior anymore. Because you are not into that kind of adult thing anymore, okay? So you can just become the one that you want to become. Nobody is there to judge you. Nobody is there to make you feel bad about your own personality. Because sometimes, 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 my like, darling, my partner, but you're a very baby type, you're very childish. And people might find it a bit cheeky or cheesy. But it's your problem, my darling, because it's completely cute for you. And here I can see the page of bows that is telling you that you are really tapping into your own inner child before meeting this person also with the queen of vessels is all about nurturing vibe energetic emotional happy successful feeling like you are very much controlled in your own self nobody can control you anymore you know my darling page of bows it's all about like often you are seen you are seen as an 
a misery and as such your gifts are widely recognized and honored your ability to perceive the truth in almost any matter is vastly helpful and your freedom of spirit makes you out as an original and unique personality like you are that og like original gangster okay you're just making yourself the, the the best version of yourself okay you're not really controlled by anybody else and you don't do things the way other people do things the forest lovers here really represent both balance in relationship and the sexual union between two polarized individuals and this in itself encompasses the love of all nature both human and ecological as well as that of individuals we are each holographic you know fractions of the universe so containing the whole creation on the, the the archetypes of the major arcana within us to greater or lesser degree as we enter the great forest of life itself we seek emotional richness and harmony at the deepest level from these love blossoms okay and i can feel my darling that love is a universal gift to a generous heart and a seeker will find balance to inner harmony and healing so the forest lovers represent the positive spiritual force of creative emotional energy and a universal desire for harmony. So the rights of spring, the polar balance of soul, the desires, you know, the friendship that is really entering in your life, that is going to make you feel more self-loving. My darling, you will meet your person at the point of time when you are just very much open and accepting all the things that is entering in your life and you are not judging anything. And you're just having that open mindset, okay? And I can definitely feel, my darling, that the and the ancestor card here, the ancestor greets you, my darling, as you walk up the path that leads to the forest, the forest of your life, okay? Because she's a creature of myth, half animal, half human, that you can see. Half animal and half human, half deer and half human. So there is like duality okay the wisdom and the drum that summons all who can hear the gather and watch the sun rise the ancestor is blessed by the land and by the divine knowledge that flows from the stars her coat is of white winter far and evergreen leaves so i can feel my darling you have made the leap and started a new cycle your instinctive spirit has felt it necessary to lead you to the gateway and new path you may have been reluctant or concerned at first but whether you realize it or not a shift has occurred you may feel wary of unknown you know unknown ways of things that is really happening to you and sisters within you will guide and reassure you as you relearn and greet new experiences on the path trust your inner voice listen to your own intuition and just trust your own gut feelings okay trust your needle my darling that needling feeling trust that feeling because i can feel my group number three you'll meet your person and before that meeting your mind your intuition will tell you that you are about to meet your person you're about to meet the person of your life wow my darling uh, you will meet your person at the point of time when you're just embracing your uniqueness and you are exactly at the at the point of time when you are just following the path that your mom, dad, your ancestor used to follow. So there is a sense of a very good person and pleasing all the ancestors. Your ancestors are really playing a great role, finding the true love for you. They're just finding the true person who really deserve you. Wow. Let's go find out more. So, wow. So here is the Hofel. Archangel Hofel is already telling you about joy, about happiness, about excitement. So you'll meet your person when you're like joyful because you're in the joy card and the queen of which I can see the salmon and the dolphin. Both of them are really very much happy and diving into the water. So there is happiness, there is joy, there is excitement. There is lots of, you know, joyful vibe when you're meeting this person. You're very happy, you're very successful. You're just enjoying your everyday life when you're about to meet your person. Yes, meditation. Again, my darling, you are really meditating or connecting spiritually into yourself. So it's it's a it's a sense of spiritual meeting, my darling. And meditation means that you are definitely becoming more patient, more powerful, and kinda very much devoted to the angels and universe and doing worship to the angels and God. 
Okay, Virgin Michael is giving you I'm present. Okay, I am present. So here means Archangel Michael is definitely going to play a great role when it comes to meeting this person. It feels like your person is already in your 5D world. They're already with you in this 5D realm. Maybe you cannot see them, but they are here with you. You can sense their power. They can sense your power. You guys just can channel a message to each other, okay? Miracles are endless. Miracles are going to happen. And a planetary cycle is definitely, my darling, a cycle is about to end and a new cycle is about to begin at that point of time you will meet your person maybe like you know you're just ending something a course or a cycle okay your life is kind of like becoming new type okay you're not someone that used to be changing changing mindset changing cycles is here and miracles my darling definitely my group number three some miracles are there that are about to take place when it comes to the meeting when it comes to this amazing relationship so yes be joyful every time because miracles and magic can happen anytime anywhere you just don't know how things will happen for you but things can really get very much easily for you go with the flow my group number three go with the flow this is the best guidance that you can get go with the flow don't try to hold on to your situation don't try to change your soul because of someone and don't try to make anything out of something that is not even yours so just Sit properly, sit back and enjoy your everyday life and do things the way you want to do, okay? Because there is joy, there is miracles, there is happiness. There is like, you know, having that adventure of life. Yeah, keys on trees, my darling, let me tell you one thing. You're, it feels like you're caged, you cannot move. But you have the key, and but you don't know how to open the gate. So there will be someone who will be giving you the key, and if that you will be giving them the key, and they're gonna be opening you up. So keys on that on trees here, definitely I can feel that the keys, the way you want to get out from that situation that right now you are in my group number, it's everywhere. Like you can do anything to make yourself out, but you just need a help. Believe in yourself and solutions and creativity on the top of the winding shiny metal tower there is an elephant captured in a cage a vast jungle of giant trees and plants around him but the elephant is not distressed there are keys hanging from the trees if he picks one he can open the cage release himself into the wild no situation is too complicated to be solved look in unexpected places for answers you have that creativity to find a way out so my group number two you meet your person in a very unexpected way and you will meet your person in a way that you have never ever experienced before. It's kind of magic. It's kind of miracle. Or maybe at the point of time meeting them, you are going to solve a problem that was really bothering you for a long time. And suddenly you just know how to, how to come out from that problem. How to come out from something that was bothering you for a long time. You just, you just know how to make yourself out of some shitty situation. Okay, it feels like you're really... Releasing your own self, my group number three, okay? The confirmation of the affirmation for you. When I'm grateful for what I have, I can feel good along the way to what I desire. So my group number three, angels are telling you to feel gratitude, to give gratitude to the angels and universe, to feel grateful for whatever you have already. And you can feel that whatever you desire that is exactly coming in your way. So feel grateful, my darling, that you have the beautiful dresses, you have food, you have home to leave, you have the beautiful family to share your love with. You got me, okay? So my group number three, I can feel that it's time for you to find out those things that you are very much grateful for. So show your grat gratitude, show your happiness, okay? Show your gratitude to the angels and universe because that's the best way you can you know attract more blessings so that my darling you you should slow down and listen to the guidance that is available to you just feel that whatever you need that is on the way the more you show gratitude the more universe will give you more situation to be grateful for that's all i got for you my beautiful group number three i hope you enjoy my reading give it a thumbs up also my darling subscribe to my channel and hit that bell icon so that you can be notified by youtube when i upload new videos till then stay blessed and happy i love you my darling so much mm -hmm.